Okay, so let's talk about what are good or bad visualizations. Uh, so we will go through those principles a lot over this entire semester. And there are two great readings that I posted on Canvas. And the first is called Graphic Excellence. That summarizes the principles of what are called good visualizations. Uh, so first, you should have an interesting data that can tell an interesting story. And you should um, display your data that very clearly, very accurate, and also very efficient. Okay, and so that means that you should use the greatest number of the ideas in the shortest time, shortest time, with the least ink in the smallest space. It is always multi variate and also remember, tell the truth about the data. We all see some examples that will distort the data, actually. But keep in mind that never distort the data in the visualizations. And also some more tips. This is from the second readings. OK, so keep it simple. OK, keep it simple by using Tableau or by using other type of the BI tools, you can create a very complicated visualization. And in most cases, it is not necessary. So it may not be necessary. Uh, know your data, have a point of view so that you, your, your story should be interesting. And we can create maps or we can create a chart that should be very clearly. Okay, and also, pay attention to the perception issues. For example, that uh, when you use colors, try to avoid using red and green combinations because uh, a lot of people, there are uh, some people that they cannot tell those two types of colors. Okay, so read read those two um, uh, readings on cameras. So those are very great um, readings that as starter so that what would have considered a good or bad visualizations. So let's see some examples. Is this a good or bad visualization? Okay, so ask yourself. To me, I think it is a bad example. Okay, so um, it's all over the labels. Okay, the labels are all the everywhere and it's hard to tell what <laughs> Uh, the content of this map, okay, so it's very uh, crowded uh, map visualization. And how about this one? And I think this is a good visualization. Again, someone may not like it, but I think it is a beautiful map. Okay, uh, because I, I really like the color here that has uh, uh, selected on this map. Okay, again, visualization can be very, very personal and also can be very, very subjective. Okay. And let's look at this chart. So can you tell what the author is trying to tell in this visualization? Okay. Did you even see that there's a map of the country that behind? Okay, so they are trying to use the size of the logos to represent the dollars of the billions in sale. Okay, however, this visualization can be a little bit uh, misleading. Okay, because for example, if you look at the McDonald's, okay, so the sale is 41 billion. And if you look at the Burger King, okay, so it's it's look like this 11 billion. So uh, it's four times of the Burger King. However, if you look at the size, it looks like it is six times bigger than the Burger King. Okay, so this is an example that first is very misleading because we didn't we we didn't even see that the Af Afghanistan at the first. Okay. Secondly, so they are using the logos, which is not accurate. Uh, it's not an accurate representation of the data. Okay, 
because the size may give you different impression. Okay, so if you don't look at numbers. Okay. And how about this one? This is from the Fox News. Okay, so this is also another example of the misleading visualization. Why? Because it looks like the tax has been increased a lot, you know. Okay, it looks like it has been increased, I don't know, uh, eight times. Okay, actually, so if you look at the start, so they didn't start from zero. They didn't start from zero. So if we finish this chart, the chart may look like this. Okay, so that will give you a totally different impression of the visualization. So this is also another example of misleading chart. Okay, because they didn't start from zero. Okay, and how about this one? And personally speaking, um, I like this one because I think it's very easy to understand. And also, so it's very simple. So we have a very, uh, trend line and they compare the gross annual salary uh, versus mean life satisfaction. Okay, and also you can see that uh, some people they have, although they have lower salary, but they have very high life satisfaction. Okay. And also some people, uh, they may have higher salary, but they have lower life satisfaction. And we can say generally speaking, so if you have more money, so you will feel happier. Okay. And also we can also see some outliers. Okay. I think this is a very great visualization that can tell a very interesting story. Okay. And the next one. So let's say that can you find out the problem within 15 seconds? Okay, so what is the problem of this pie chart? Okay, so it is simply not accurate, right? So to make 75%, the pie chart should be like this. Okay, 75% should be like this. If you want above 75, like 76, your pie chart should be like this. Okay, so this is simply not accurate. Okay, so those are some examples that good visualization or bad visualization. So hopefully starting from now, you really start thinking about that. Are those visualizations good or bad? Okay, so and also think about that, how you can create a good visualization.